This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Omnitrax. Visit Omnitrax.com for more information and enjoy the show. Surrounded by the latest trucks and equipment, the buzz of two talking points zipped through every booth, connected autonomous trucks and electrification. While forward-looking talk is fun, there's one question that remains. How is this technology impacting your fleet today? We walked the North America Commercial Vehicle Show floor in search of the answer on this episode of On the Road. I'm Jason Morgan. And this is Alex Chrissy. We travel the globe to get our hands on the latest truck equipment and talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On the Road. All the OEMs at the show rolled out their latest trucks, powered by 2017 GHG engines and paired with automated manual transmissions. Standing next to the Freightliner New Cascadia, there was talk of Daimler testing on highway platooning, in which trucks are connected wirelessly to decrease the following distance and increase fuel efficiency. Climbing through the new Volvo VNL, we talked about how autonomous truck technology can expand beyond Class 8 on the road and be applied to specific applications like refuse. Kicking the tires on the new Mac Anthem, the OEM announced that the Advanced Collision Mitigation System, the Bendex Wingman Fusion, will be standard equipment. Sitting in the driver's seat of the International LT Series, we heard that the OEM is committed to delivering its own proprietary powertrain, and that it will also deliver an electrified Class 6-7 truck by 2020. Speaking of electrification, Cummins had its Class 7 fully electric truck on display, a clear statement that the diesel engine pioneer's commitment to electrification is here to stay. The amount of time and money that every OEM is dumping in the R&D means that this is technology not to be ignored. The fact of the matter is, the early stages of these technologies are already in your trucks. The mile markers on the road toward increasingly autonomous trucks are flying by. And when you order a new Class 8 truck this year, you'll infuse your fleet with autonomous features. At the most basic autonomous level is the automated manual transmission, which is quickly becoming a standard spec. Mack Trucks reported that its M-Drive AMT makes up more than 88% of its orders. And that's coming from a truck OEM that has traditionally been viewed as a vocational workhorse. With the launch of its new Class 8 on-highway truck, the OEM is confident that the trend will continue. On a Freightliner New Cascadia, the Detroit Assurance Safety System will integrate into its Detroit Connect Telematics dashboard to report on safety-related events, and Detroit engines will have over-the-air remote updates via a cellular connection. Volvo's 2017 D13 Wave Piston increases the engine's compression ratio and offers a fuel efficiency improvement of up to 2.5% compared to the previous D13, showing off that there's still plenty of efficiency to be pulled from diesel engines. International had its super truck on display, which boasted an average 13 mile per gallon. With the first super truck project in the rear view mirror, the technology is starting to seep into its new series of trucks. And all these technology advancements point to what fleets and NACFI's run on less program discovered, that a 10 mile per gallon average is within reach. Consider that five years ago, achieving a 10 mile per gallon average was a seemingly futuristic idea. Taking a look at the technology that was on display at this year's North America Commercial Vehicle Show, it's not hard to imagine where we might be five years from now. For more episodes of On the Road, head over to feontheroad.com.